want to cut that. you guys we are actually looking at this is a garden line chainsaw this one believe it or not actually came from all these and it was $27 takes your standard bar and chain oil it runs an Oregon 14 inch bar just like the other many of the others out there here's your adjustment you got to pull this cap off to be able to get at it to be able to adjust it she's a standard plug-in there's really no mystery about this one it basically runs off an 11 amp hour motor though. So a bit of a beef up from the other ones that you may have seen. $47.99, out the door. I've never seen them running nothing, but just guessing I'll go with the Portland or the the Portland. The Portland. Okay, so here's the tail of the tape. We've got a Remington from Menards, that's the black one. That one's forty-one dollars. Okay. Roughly. The Portland right above it is from Harbor Freight, that's forty-seven dollars. The dark green one up top is from Aldi grocery store for twenty-seven dollars. The white one underneath it is a Lethelli that's off from Amazon. That's a, that's a battery though. Isn't it? That's the only battery okay. one. We've got to throw something in from Amazon. And I thought, well, let's throw a battery in just to see how it does. Because all of the other ones are corded. Okay. And then we've got the home light, the red one down below Ooh. in the, the snow. The home light might have a good chance. And that one is from Home Depot and that was forty nine ninety nine. So okay. there's no if, chainsaw if, if the in If Portland here. don't do it, I would say the home light will. Home right. light's a good saw. All right, so we're going to test it against something they're designed to handle over on the other side of the wood pile. And at the end of the video, we're going to throw it up against this. And this is kind of one of those scenarios where, all right, big tree fell down. This is all I've got. What am I going to be able to do with it scenario just to see how, yeah. how far they get. So without wasting more time, let's get into today's video and go pick up some chainsaws. Object today is to go into Harbor Freight and to pick up the cheapest chainsaw we can find. It doesn't matter if it's gas. It doesn't matter if it's battery. It doesn't matter if you plug it into a wall outlet. We just want the absolute cheapest from Harbor Freight and see how it holds up against other uh, tools that we can get from Home Depot, the online, and other sources. So let's head into Harbor Freight. Okay, so we got $169. Oh, $47. 14 inch electric chainsaw for $47.99. Let's All do right. it. All right, this is uh, the Portland 14 inch 9 amp electric chainsaw that we got from Harbor Freight. Like I said, it's got a 14 inch blade on it, 9 amp motor. Bar and chain oil goes in here. And then to tighten the chain, you undo this and there's a little screw underneath it that you tighten or loosen to adjust uh, the tension on the chain. All right, well, we've got a Menards handy, so let's jump in here just to see what they've got. Here we got the first chainsaw. We got a 16 inch craft lid at 149. That's not a bad price for gas, but let's steam up the cheapest. Greenworks, 79.99, okay? I know Greenworks makes 70 sense. bucks, Remington. 41. What's that, is that a, oh no, that's a. $41 chainsaw. From Remington. It's got an Oregon bar. Right. 
Hold that up. That's kind of a goofy looking little setup there. 14 inch. It's $41. It's 41 bucks. Limb and trim. All right, first up is the Remington. This thing feels like a toy. I think it uh, feels like I'm going to break the thing. the Remington also has a 14 inch bar on it bar and chain oil fills up on the top just like the other one here's where you tighten or loosen your chain here uh, this one unlike the others only has an 8 amp motor on it all right we're at Home Depot and we're gonna go in and we are going to find the cheapest not necessarily the best just we want the cheapest chainsaw you may i don't care if it runs off gas battery solar sun farts just right. whatever the cheapest one you make is all right so i think this is it 79 bucks 79 bucks so they don't have it listed up here check this out no they don't 79.97 but when you come down here they've got a 14 inch at 49.97 that's this bad boy right here that's the one we want. That's perfect. 50 bucks. All right, let's do it. Right. The home light. This is the nicest looking one out of the bunch, actually. Um, 14 inch blade, nine amp electric motor on it. We fill in your bar and chain here. And uh, this is what you do. You this is, spin this, tighten, loosen the chain. And this is this will unlock the bar for you here, so. this one that battery's full and as you saw it yeah that battery's full as you saw that just it kept stopping on me Lathelli. this one's battery powered battery goes in the back bar and chain oil goes in here same thing the home light bar and this one does your chain the Lathelli is also the only one that has a proper proper break on it the other ones are just so the only battery powered one in the contest runs off from these 40 volt two and a half amp hour batteries so 40 volt is the size of the actual engine two and a half amp hour is the size of the fuel tank so although it says two and a half amp hour it just means it's not going to run for two or three hours this may be a 15 or a 20 minute battery where a five amp hour would maybe a 15 to 30 minute battery. But 40 volt should be supplying plenty of power to cut through the logs. So I wanted to see if Sam was doing something wrong on the first take with this Lathelli. I'm gonna give it a go and see. You can't use much down pressure, if any. Let's try it without any.
Okay. We started with four, we're down to three, and we've made one and a half cuts with it. I don't know about this one. All right, now you didn't buy these chainsaws to tackle something like this, but just in case you have to, let's see what they do. First up, the Lothelli. Take your guests down below. Lothelli. All right, next up to bat is the $27.99 chainsaw with a 14 inch bar, Oregon bar, and 11 amp hour motor from Aldi's grocery store. Home Depot's got with their home light actually is a pretty decent well-built piece of equipment straightforward with you but let's see how it takes up where the Aldi chainsaw left off If I'm gonna do this, I gotta remove the safety tip. But I think we can already see. Light definitely has got good power. No hesitation, and for an eight amp hour battery, no, this is a nine amp hour. It's uh, keeping up with the 11 amp hour one for sure. All right, technically one of the smaller ones in the lineup, even though it's 14 inches, this has got an eight amp hour battery on it. We'll see how she does. a good chew to her that's for sure this is the Menards Remington oh she sounds angry this is the Harbor Freight 14 inch electric chainsaw oh, 8 amp hour no 9 amp hour battery by Harbor Freight let's see how she does <laughs> That's our video for today. We took the five cheapest chainsaws we could find and pitted them head to head to head to head to head to head. I think I said that right. Just to see which one would come out on top. Yeah. Now, and if I was gonna say there's a clear cut winner, I think this home light seems to have the best quality feel to it, balance of power. It's just the least chintzy of the five. And I guess if that's a compliment, then that's the best compliment I can give any of these things out of them. If you guys want to see me test out more cheap equipment, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what else I can do putting stuff head to head to head to head to head to head to head. Maybe I won't do five of them next, next time. God bless. Go get them, you guys. We'll see you on the next one.